Welcome to my easy to follow in vivo how to videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate a word frequency query. Why do we need a word frequency query? It gives us the most frequently occurring words or concept in your data. We could do some very interesting things like focus search or display the text around paragraphs. Anyway, let's just do it. Now in this um, um, project, I've got a few data sets here, some interesting kind of information. Um, what I need to do is to look at the explore, which is the menu explore. Now there are a number of different ways that we can explore the data, but the first one which we need to focus on is word frequency. So you click on this um, button here, word frequency, and that then gives you uh, a frequency table. I just want a bit more space on my screen, so I want to stretch um, to this way. Now the basic word frequency query um, dialog box allow us to look at what do we want to search do we want to focus search the first one which is called files and external would allow us to look at every data what we brought in um, imported in or what we've created with external or proxy links or we can choose to select different items from different folders or we can focus on a folder search so for example if i were to only listen out to the interviews or the in interview participant voices and maybe the focus group with it i can then go into the selected folders and here under the file directory i can now put a tick box next to interview folder um, maybe focus group, um, maybe that would be fine and then go for OK. So I'm doing a selected folder um, search, explore the kind of text that are in. Now we can also look at a thousand most frequently keywords. This number of documents are not a lot so we could reduce the thousand to maybe a hundred by deleting one of the zeros or sometimes we can even click on all of it. Minimum um, word length, I've set it to three. That is a default. You can always increase it if you want. Now we're looking at frequently used words. So we can group them by the same word. So word like develop, developing, developmental, developer. Every word that has got the same develop can be pulled together so if that's what we want to look we want to go then we can slide it to the same word search let's take a look and see what we get and we can before even we decide to save this as a syntax that we can run it again we can just easily look at what we get and if we like it we can then save it so I click on the run and very quickly We've got the screen here that let us have some very basic information. The first column will give us the keywords that were frequently occurring in the document. So the word people, east, water, stuff like that in that order. Oh, by the way, you can change also the arrangement by having the count give us the most frequently or the least or all sorts of different counts so you can do that also so now i went down to the least but i can also have the most the similar words is where the same words gave us so east is east but water waters like like so this are some of the things it stops you from missing out on a particular word if you put the same search on but this is only useful for individual words as we have it in the word frequency query so on the side of your screen here we have different ways that we can look by the way let me just 
pull this bit of the dialog box a bit up this arrow serves almost like a venetian blind so you can put it up or drop it down so i wanted to see more of this screen and that's why i pushed that up so we can see the summary which is a direct summary we can also look at it as a cloud and so remember we had the word people was the most frequently occurring followed by the word east so in the word cloud you will see that we have people and i'm very sure that east is on this side you can see that and like and think and just so that gives you a word cloud of course you can change the colors to suit if you're interested in it this is just a getting started now it would be good if you can put your own data in and then you can get a little bit interesting uh, interested in what you're getting we can also look at not only the word cloud but we can also look at the tree map view so here the word people anytime people is mentioned the word no just overlapping with the word just so that is how you read this table now with the cluster also it gives us another view of the distance i'm just going to make my screen a little bit bigger right so we have some group of words with also color so the color also have something and the word grouping also have something the color also denotes some kind of group natural grouping and the color is also another grouping and also the placement of the word is also proximity looking so for instance the word fishing and around tends to stick together than the word around and going because that is in a different segment so though they are kind of similar in color but we have the proximity between fishing and around so in a nutshell i'll just go back into the word cloud what we have just seen is you can use the software in vivo to very quickly take a look at the most frequently keyword even in literature or in your documents whichever way you want to you can you can't even you know creatively make a, a poster out of such output so play with your document and see what you get now if i wanted to save the instruction because i like what i'm getting then i would click on add to project which means i'm adding the syntax on word cloud or what, what is it actually is word frequency frequency um query on um two folders which is interview interviewees and also focus group and that would do it to be located in a folder called queries which is part of the search so I'll later on show you where that is so that syntax is now located here and it will be part of the query and we called it word frequency query on interviewees and focus group interviews so that is what you get so it's your turn to have a go thank you very much for watching this i hope it's useful